The Hound of Heaven by Francis Thomas, read by Angelina Reeds. I fled him, down the nights and down the days. I fled him, down the arches of the years. I fled him down the limbrinth ways of my own mind. And the mist of tears I hid from him, and under running laughter of visited hopes I sped, and shot preanticipated a down titanic glooms of chest made fears. From the strong feet that followed, followed after, but unhurrying chase, and unperpetuated pace, deliberated speed, majestic intimacy, they beat, and a voice beat, more instant than the feet. All things betray thee whom betrayed me. I pled, outlawed wise, by many a hearted casement, currented red, trestled with entwining charities. For though I know his love, who followed, yet I swore a dread, lest, having him, I must have naught beside. But if one little casement parted wide, the gust of his approach would clash it too. Fear wist not to evade, as love wist to persuade. Across the margin of the world I fled, and troubled the gold gateway of the stars, smithing for his shelter on their clanged bars. Fretted to deuceless char- jars and silvered chatter, the pale ports, oh, the moon. I said to dawn, be sudden to eve, be soon. With young seething blossoms, Heap me over from this tremendous lover. Float thy vagan veil about me. Least to see I tempted all his severities, but to find my own betrayal in their conspiracies, in faith to him their fickleness to me, their treacherous truthness and their loyal deceit. To all swift things for swiftness did I sue, clung to the whistling mane of every wind. But whether they swept smoothly flit, the only savannas of the blue, or whether thunder driven, they cling to chariot thwart heaven, plashly with flying lightning, round the spur and own their feet. Fear wist not to evade as love wist to pursue, still with unhurrying chase and unpertuade pace, the word speech and majestic intimacy came on the following feet. A voice above their beat. Not shelter thee who wilt not shelter me. I sought more. No more. That after which I strayed. On face of man or maid. But still within the little children's eyes. Seems something. Something that replies. They at least are for me. Surely for me. I turned me to thy every wistfully. But just as their young eyes grew sun fair with dawning answers there, the angel plucked them from me by the hair. Come then, other children's nature. Share with me, said I, your delicate fellowship. Let me greet your lip with lip. Let me twine with your caress, wandering, wanting with our lady, mother's vagrant tresses. Banqueting with her in her wind, wailed placement. Underneath her roars a Dallas, quiffing as your taintless way is. From a chalice lentent, lucent, weeping out of the day spring, so it was done. I in their delicate fellowship was one, drew the bolt of nature's secrecy. I knew all the sweep, swift, importing on the willful face of skies. I knew how the clouds arise, spum of the wild sea snortlings. All that born or dies, rose and drooped with, made them shapers of my own moods, or wayful or divine. With them joyed and was bereamed, I was heavy with the even. When she lit her glimmering tampers round the day's dead sanctities, I laughed in the morning's eyes. I triumphed. I saddened with all weather. Heaven and I wept together. Its sad tears were salt with mortal mine. Against the red throat of its sun heart, I laid my own to beat, and share cumbling heat, but not by that, 
by that was eased by my human smart. In vain my tears were wet on heaven's gray cheeks. For hey, we know not each other's other say. These things and I in sound I speak, their sound is but their stir. They speak by silence. Nature poor that made cannot slate my drought. Let her if she would, O oh me, drop you in blue blossoms of sky, and show me the breast of her tenderness. Never did my any milk of hers once bless my thirsting mouth. Nigh and nigh draws the chase with unperpetuated pace, deliberate speed majestic into sea, and past those noised feet. A voice comes in yet more fleet, Oh, not contents thee, whose contents not me. I naked, I wait thy love's unlifted stroke. My heart is piece by piece, thou hast hewn from me, and I smitten me to my knee. I am defenseless, utterly. I slept, methinks, and woke, and slowly gazing from me, stripped in sleep, in the rash, lusted head of my young powers, I shook the pillaring powers, and pulled my life upon me. Grimmed and smeared, I stand amidst the dust, o oh, the mounted years, my mingled young lies dead beneath the heap my days have crackled and gone up in smoke have puffed and bursted as sun started on a stream ye philippeth now even dream the dreamer and the lute the lutist even the link fantasies in whom blossom me twist i swung the earth a trinket at my wrist are yielding cords of all too weak account for earth with heavy grief so un over -plusted? Ah, is thy love indeed a weed, a bleat, a lamithrine weed, suffering no flowers except its own to mount? Ah, must designer infinite? Ah, thou chart the wood, Ari, thou canst. Liam with it. My freshness spent its wavering shower, I the dust. And now my heart is a broken fount. Wherein th fear drippings singent split down ever from the drink thoughts that shiver upon the slightest branches of my mind. Such is what is to be the pupil so bitter. How shall I taste the rain? The dimly guessed what time it in a mist confounds yet ever and a noun a triumphant sound from the hidden battles of eternity whose shaken mist a space unsettle they round the half glimpsed torrents slowly wash again but not error him who summoned i first have seen and wound with glooming robes purpled compressed crowned his name I know, what his triumphant saith. Whether man's heart or life, it be which yield the harvest. Must thy harvest fields be dunged with rotten dead? Now that long pursuit, come at hand the brute. The voices round me like a bursting sea. And is thy earth so marred, shared, shattered and shard on shard? Lo. All things th fly thee, for thou floodest me. Strange, putterest, fiddle, thing. Wherefore should I, should any set thee love apart? Seeing none, but I makest much of nought, he said. And human love need human meriting? How hast thou merited? Of all men's clotted clay the dingest clot alack thou knowest not how little worthy of any love art art thou art whom wilt thou find to love ignoble thee save me save only me which i took from thee i did not take not for thy harms but 
just that thou mustn't seek in my arms. Or which thy child's mistake, Francis, is thought, is lost. I have stored for thee at home. Rise, clasp my hand, and come. Halts by me thy footfall. Is my gloom, after all, shade of his hand, outreached crushingly? Ah, fondest blindness, weakness, I am he whom thou seek. Thou drivest love from thee, who drivest me. Hey guys, I really hope you liked the reading, The Hound of Heaven by Francis Thomas. That was really good. Um, I'm so sorry for not posting for so long. You know, life is hectic as we all know. So I hope to post more from now on. But I really hope you loved the reading. I certainly loved it a lot. And I hope that spoke to you. I know the way I speak may not be in sync with how others may pronounce the certain words that I pronounce. So obviously just go and read the poem in the description box below. I have it down there, either a link or the whole thing. I think I'm going to put the entire poem now in the description box below. I really hope you love it. I know I love it with all my heart. It's such a beautiful poem. The meaning behind it, everything. Certainly discuss with others or do a quick Google search and find the exact meanings of all the different stanzas and everything within it. I really hope you love it. Um, Francis Thomas was truly a remarkable person considering everything he went through i may make a separate video discussing his biography and the information you would like to know about him so i may also link that video in the description box below once i post that thank you so much once again for listening and i truly hope you enjoyed this reading of the hound of heaven by thomas F uh by Francis Thomas. Have a wonderful day, everyone, and I love you guys. Bye!